Hello, Tab Nation. It is Tom. And today, we're doing a follow-up video on a macro recorder. I did it a few weeks ago. You all seem to really enjoy it and loved it. In the description, link to the website where you can download it. In case you didn't see that first video, definitely recommend watching that. It's under the same name of MicroWin. And uh, I will have my discount code down there if you want to get the full untrialed version that's coming out. Uh, at the time of this video, I'm not sure if it's out yet today or not, but keep an eye out on that, obviously. Now, what we're going to be doing today is, in the first video, I kind of introduced you to just what the program really does. I didn't get to cover all the features because there's just an insane amount. I mean, it's crazy. I've been playing with this, and I still haven't tried every single thing you can possibly do. Probably not even 50% of what you can do. But today's main focus is going to be win, uh, micro win with auto hotkeys. This is really cool, and we're going to do this in two ways. Um, so first, real quick, I want to write a script uh, for this. Uh, I don't need this. That's the wrong one. Oh, I actually want you to close. Thank you. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. Apparently, I don't have like anything set up how I need it before I do this. Uh, I'm just going to use my test script here. I'm going to do something simple. Uh, we don't really need to worry about the code. This is just to show you how stuff works. So we'll do message box. Hello, woof world. That's all we're going to do. That's our whole code. That's all we need. Now, I already have it open. So here we are. You see my thing from my last video. Like I said, check that out. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a new one. So we're going to plus push the uh, plus button to add, create a new one, and uh, that's actually behind me. There you go. Yeah, hopefully you saw that. <laughs> so I'm going to push that. Uh, like I said, I went through all this. Uh, so don't worry too much about that. Uh, you can watch the first video to get a better idea of what's on there. Gibberish, don't need that. Trigger. Lots of triggers. We're going to do, 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 do keyboard. Kind of like a normal script that we do in there. We're going to go add a hotkey. We're going to go with F2 today. Let's switch it up. Such a big switch up. Down, leaving everything up like that. I'm good. Conditions. I don't really need a condition for this. I just want it to run. Now we're going to push add action. Now there's two things you can do here. You got auto hotkey. This is the first way we're going to show. So that's really cool that... The language auto hockey is just like actually an option here. I love that. So obviously this person really likes auto hockeys. Good for him. <laughs> Good for us. I'm going to add. And for this, it's going to be for running an actual script that we have somewhere. So we're just going to find the path. Uh, it's on my desktop. And what did I say? I was using test two. Open. Uh, just to throw this out real quick, too, some other auto hotkey options are suspend, unsuspend, toggle suspension, and terminate all. I like the terminate all one. Maybe um, I'm testing code and some of my other scripts might be interfering. I can just push terminate all, have a hotkey, and boom, all my HK scripts get terminated. And I you know, don't have to manually sit there and close them all or whatever. So I love that. Uh, we're going to push OK. Uh-oh. Unhandled exception has occurred in your place. Yeah, let's see what happens if we continue. Ah, it's not going to let me. I'm not sure what's going on here. There's a lot of stuff there. I will submit this, uh, maybe review it. So hopefully when you guys get this, it will work. But basically what happens is if I push F2, once I save this, it's going to run this script's location. Uh, looks like there might be a little bug there. Uh, like I said, this is actually pretty new, so that's to be expected. And it just close it out and restart it real quick. Now, we'll just go ahead and jump to the next way. <laughs> Sorry about that. I'm not sure what's going on there. Uh, so we're going to do a trigger again also on here. And we're going to be doing uh, keyboard add. We'll just go ahead and use F2, since we're not using that. And our action. I wonder... 
Okay, I just wanted to look at something real quick. Now, you have the auto hotkey right there. That's just to run the script path file. But if you scroll down, there is actually one right here. It's called programming slash script. We're going to be using that one now. So it starts off as the language, as you see down here, batch. has uh, Actually has hello world in there as some test code. But the little drop down, this is pretty cool. Auto hotkeys, once again, it's at the top of the list there. Um, which is awesome. The guy definitely loves AHK. Love for us. And, uh, hey, you can use this for other stuff. I mean, it has VBS, you know, a bunch of different types of C programming languages, JavaScript, Python, you know, PowerShell even. I mean, it's really cool. But we're going to be going with this. And by default, it has our little test there, so I don't even need to write out our Hello World. It's there for our test. And here... It's basically whatever you did in your IDE, you can copy and paste it here. Uh, you also have the option of writing the code in version 1 or in version 2. Uh, we'll just stick with version 1 at the time of filming. That's pretty much what everybody's using right now. Hardly anybody uses version 2. It's still in beta, so lots of changes might come. Probably not, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, we're going to go ahead, push OK. We're happy. And we are going to save this. And we're just going to give it... A very very random name and that's our description it's my secret code language that I made up just now and there is our uh, thing so I press F2 boom hello world so yeah pretty straightforward um, like I said that's probably the way I would use it works great I'm not sure what went wrong on there. I don't want to waste your guys' time with reading that huge error report and breaking it down and everything. Uh, and I will submit that to the guy to see if he knows. Maybe I did something wrong. It most likely is that I did do something wrong. Uh, but like I said, link in the description to the website for this. Uh, I'll probably also, uh, if I don't forget, because I do this a lot, put a link to the first video where you can get a much in-depth a view of this uh even outside of ahk and just you know very brief run through like i said uh there's just too much to cover on this in a single video video would be like an hour plus long i don't want to record a video that long you don't want to sit there and watch a video that long so yeah uh, if you guys like this definitely subscribe throwing videos out on automation or just things in general that can help you with your workload personal life and even video games automation kind of stuff and uh, thumbs buttons always hit that up that helps me see what you all like and that way i can bring more content based on the things you all want to see more than the others uh, so obviously that helps me that way and i will see you all on the next one Thank you.